Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today is another one of those like roundup recap videos, whatever they're called, candle banter series, number whatever it is at this point, I don't even remember, but it is a empties edition. So obviously I haven't been a whole lot active on this channel because I've just been enjoying the crap out of just finishing and burning candles. There's something so immensely satisfying about finishing and emptying them rather than continually buying it. It's kind of like, I felt like I like, fixed my itch to constantly buy candles there for a while. Um, to the point that I almost didn't even need the like, the latest five that I just bought, but I was like, let me just like kind of force myself to buy them just to like, you know, be active on the channel uh, for a little bit again and just to have like a hobby again uh, that involves candles. So I did that. But we have 12 candles, I believe, today of empties, a mix of BBW and homework. So if you're interested, then stay tuned. So, yes. Uh, the first one we have is Salted Caramel Pretzel right here from the Weekly Candle Drop Collection. This had the color-changing labels on it. Uh, this one was flawless down the bottom. I love this, actually. I was ragging on this in the review for saying it was way too buttery, which it's still heaps of butteriness. Like, oh my god, so much butteriness. It's like, very similar to like the Sweet Kettle Corn butteriness, as well as the buttery popcorn butteriness as well as the popcorn and pine butteriness so very buttery uh this one is freshly baked soft pretzel brown butter caramel and sea salt it's like a whole lot of butter mixed with like a salty pretzel and caramel fragrance uh it was great it was super strong the whole way down um it was just excellent uh like i almost kind of blame buying another one of this i'm just really trying not to ever buy backups or uh of anything at this point again uh just because i'm like let me just enjoy the candle while it's here, and then just move on with my life and enjoy something else when it comes down the line. Like, they will constantly pump out candles for the rest of, I guess, the foreseeable future. So, I was just like, do I, I, I yeah, I'll, I'll enjoy when it's here, and that's that's the end of it. I just, I'm just sick of being attached to, like, candles. So, uh, salted caramel pretzel right here. Friggin' excellent, super strong, great burn down to the bottom. Uh, we have a, I was trying to get into the Christmas uh, winter spirit because all the new winter candles are out. So I finished, was this last year's peppermint sugar cookie right here. That's what that looks like. Um, this one's out again this year. Crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. This is another excellent one. Um, I think it soots a lot at the beginning. Then it kind of duds out mid-range, and then I just, like, let it go for a long time, and it finally auto-corrects uh, towards the bottom, and then we're, like, good to go again, and this one finished down to the bottom, and it was good there. Uh, also, a very strong performer. Love this one. It's like they took that same, uh, like, Sugar Snickerdoodle base that we get from Sugar Snickerdoodle, which is not too different from Pumpkin Pecan Waffles as a base. It's that same, like, like that warm, sort of, like, uh, nutty cookie fragrance mixed with a heap of like a peppermint marshmallow blend to it and it's just a nice contrast between the coolness of the peppermint and the warmth of that like sugared snickerdoodle base uh and i like it it's been around for a few years now um i don't think i need one this year just because i just finished this one and that's enough for me uh but peppermint sugar cookie is highly recommended if you don't have that so that's that right there uh, we have another one, Simply Excellent. Oh my god, love this. Uh, Banana Walnut Muffin, the online exclusive from this year. This is the best version of Banana Walnut Muffin. It did not dud out on me. Normally, this one duds out mid-range and gets grody. This one had the thick rope-like wick, so it had a different burn from the one that had, I believe had the core wicks at one point. And it burned flawlessly down at the bottom. Just so strong and awesome. Just excellent. Uh, sweet Banana, Golden Nutmeg, and Cinnamon Sugar Muffin. Uh, this and Pumpkin Peanut Butter were like my top two for the fall time. It was, it was just so good. Um, um, there's almost like a salty like soy sauce component to it there's like a salty crumbliness to this that's a little weird but that's I think what makes it so distinctly authentic that you get like the nuts in there mixed with like the mashed bananas it literally smells like you open one of those Otis Spungmeyer banana walnut muffins and like just like devoured it and dug into it this smells exactly like that and it's strong and just flawless all the way down to the bottom so banana walnut muffin right there um like I like that they, that is there's a lot of like banana bread or banana walnut type of like fragrance oils out there and candles that all kind of smell similar or generic. There's something like very distinct about that one that I really appreciate that's different from just your usual generic run of the mill banana bread fragrance. So that's why I like that one so much. We then have another one that was great but kind of spotty performance. Uh, it's like it like goes back and forth between being good and dudding out uh you just kind of like let it go despite the fact that it has like a slow wonky burn on it and i just it was fine after that uh so pumpkin cinnamon bun right there quite schmutzy as you can see right there uh this one is warm cinnamon roll pumpkin spice and vanilla frosting 
Mmm, delicious. Love this one as well. This one I think is my second one, I believe. Yeah, I don't think I have any more. Uh, but yeah, this one was delicious. Um, it's slightly different from last year's pumpkin cinnamon bun that had a little bit more of like a bakery base to it. And that one was very similar to that pumpkin spice cheesecake fragrance we had before. This is a slight tweak of last year's version. Very similar, but slightly different. In the sense that this has more of that like warm uh vanilla frosting or glazing on top like huge emphasis on that with like a residual element of the warm bakedness of the bun uh but just a little bit more heavy on the cinnamon icing component than the bun but still very much like a cinnamon bun fragrance just delicious it really smells like you're walking by like the cinnabon uh vendor at a mall and it just like so true to that experience it's just st sticky sweet and awesome it's just like the best like cinnamon like bun frosting fragrance excellent uh so that was that right there and this was plenty strong for me too medium to medium plus uh we have another one which was so immensely strong and great flawless down the bottom it didn't i don't think it dud out but it, and i don't think it really got smelt burnt or grody like the one that I had from previous years did either. Uh, so that's pumpkin peanut brittle, another online exclusive. Freaking delicious. Uh, this is crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, and toasted pumpkin seeds. As you can see, it did get like sort of black and murky towards the end, but it didn't really affect the fragrance too much. Uh, but this one literally smells like peanut butter on top of, of a Ritz cracker. Like you get the creamy peanut butter fragrance mixed with like a crumbly cracker component and it's just sim simply delicious. I've talked about this so many times that I feel, like, I feel like I don't really have to talk about it anymore, but excellent. Pumpkin peanut brittle right there. Uh, one from, was this last year? Um, let's see, Spice Cranberry Toffee and those that beautiful wraparound label right there. I did not love this one when it first came out and I was like, ugh, I don't need this ever again, but I really enjoyed this one the more and more it went down. I tell you, once you stop reviewing candles and treat this like as a passing hobby, rather than an active hobby, the candles become a lot more enjoyable, which I think is how it's supposed to be intended for casual consumers who just buy Bath & Body Works like every so often, rather than like, studying them and like waiting for the next new thing and like always having that like low level dissatisfaction with it when you treat it very like passively it's so much more enjoyable which like that doesn't bode well for the fate of like me being active here on youtube but i don't know these are just like when you just slow down and just like have it adding extra ambience like it's just it's just nice it's like an extra nice touch uh rather than like having like hardcore like study and look for the next one but you know it is what it is <laughs> um so yeah this one i actually really enjoyed it uh rich, rich toffee fresh cranberries and swirled with caramel uh didn't love it when i was actively reviewing it but loved it once i stopped actively reviewing it like and i think this one had a weird burn to it i think it was once again very sooty at the beginning dead it out mid-range and then i had to just like let it rip for a while and then i finally auto-corrected and then it had like a slow uh death towards the end but it was still super strong all the way down to the bottom um it's like this super like jammy syrupy almost like a fermented cranberry sauce or cranberry jam fragrance that's really sweet um and i think it's amped up the sweetness is amped up by like an underlying like caramel liquid drizzle fragrance to it uh and then it's mixed with like this slightly weird like contrasting uh, like powdered sugar sugary dryness to it and the contrast between the two is just really unique and interesting and nothing like i've smelled before uh it's not like your usual just generic boring like frosted cranberry cranberry woods fragrance this was something totally different um i liked how unique it was and it was super strong and sweet but that, that robust juiciness from the cranberry it was just very unique um I, I wouldn't mind having another one of this one, but I enjoyed it, like, so much, like, this year rather than last year when I was actively reviewing it. So, Spice Cranberry Toffee right there. Uh, another, oh my god, this one was excellent. Another one I would entertain getting another one on, but once again, trying to practice not hoarding anything. So, Spiced Pumpkin and Patchouli right here. Friggin' excellent. Great for, like, the current season of October and November. It's like a late fall fragrance. When this first came out, it was still super hot in the July time, and I was just like not really feeling it, although I did appreciate what a good fragrance it was. This is so much better now that it's cooler. Uh, rich pumpkin, warm patchouli, and a touch of cinnamon sugar. Mm, simply excellent and flawless down to the bottom. Super sooty at the beginning, but then kind of like uh, regulated itself by the mid-range point. Just super, super strong, lingers forever. It's just excellent. Uh, this is kind of has like a 
older men's old spice cologne vibe mixed with your usual like pumpkin clove pumpkin bonfire uh like slightly sweet swimming pumpkin type of like quintessential pumpkin spice fragrance made it a little bit more elevated and earthy and a little bit more mature and a little bit more like men's like by that added patchouli in there that gave it like this earthy dampy quality to it that evokes like the earthy dampy quality that you might associate with october november um it was like a more moody sophisticated pumpkin spice fragrance simply excellent yeah wow i like i wouldn't mind having another one of this but no i'll just i, I enjoyed it while i was here and i'll move on with it so spice pumpkin and patchouli right there um and this one oh my god took forever to finish just because it like dead it out like from the get-go this one was just a terrible for performer from the get-go this was from 2018 and it's the leaves in this like wood wraparound packaging as you can see right there and that's what that looks like uh this one is crisp red apple golden nectar and warm clove spice leaves is always out during the fall time so we know what it smells like it then gets repackaged as spice apple toddy during the winter time so if you want it there it exists there as well um it's your like uh quintessential like like a fermented apple cider fragrance mixed with like a sweet juicy berry in there uh everyone knows leaves uh like you know true tried and true beloved fragrance love the pocket back in the hand soap is excellent just super juicy and just quenching and awesome i really enjoy this one uh but the performance on this one was just absolutely abysmal so i just kind of kept letting it go super slow burn but we finally got to the bottom here so that was that right there and i believe that's it for the bbw candles um surprisingly surprisingly enjoyable when you're not like obsessing over them yeah um moving on uh let's see we have homeworks candles we have four of them uh the first one we have is farm stand pumpkin that i got from a marshall's or home goods or something that's what that looks like right there um and this one still has the higher quality lids on it uh this one is pumpkin puree nutmeg cinnamon stick and sugar tonka bean this one was i think fine down to the bottom um and it was quite strong as well the slight burnt tinge to it the entire way but eh, it was it, at least it was strong so that was plus for homeworks this um, at first I was like, ooh, farm stand pumpkin, like, is that gonna be a rustic fragrance? But when you go to burn this, this is like a variation of pumpkin caramel swirl or cinnamon caramel swirl from BBW. It has super sticky, sweet, caramel-laced pumpkin fragrance. Um, it might just be a little less caramely than, um, the BBW version, but still super sweet, super sticky, and quite strong as well. So, um, I enjoyed it while I was here, but it's kind of basic to be totally honest. So, uh, farm stand pumpkin right there. Uh, we then have this, which I really enjoyed the fragrance, but it just performed abysmally. I mean, just a trash performance on it. Uh, pumpkin caramel corn right there. Uh, this one is buttery caramel, pumpkin spice, and freshly popped corn. Uh, this, yeah, oh my god, I'm just like, ugh. It just, like, smells burnt most of the time, and it just, this, if you saw the candle review on it, I mean, it just tunneled like crazy. I mean, just the puniest wicks ever, just, like, back in, like, 2012 slacking era when stuff would just, like, like dud out like crazy the the wick issues still are very real um but you just kind of like have to i like just had this going for like you know like eight hours or something just to try to get it pull out but it was still very strong despite the performance issues um super strong like a burnt popcorn kernel fragrance mixed with a lot of like caramel in there for sure but it's not quite as sweet as you would imagine because the popcorn note is so like burnt and like almost toasty that it's not quite as sweet as you would imagine mixed with like a gingery almost like a curry type of pumpkin spice like seasoning is some like sprinkled on top of that bag of like caramel popcorn that's what this smells like like cracker jacks made a little bit less sweet and a little bit more like ginger curryish, uh but i still enjoyed it it was very unique and different and it was so quintessentially like popcorny and different from the popcorn we get from bbw that i i liked it it was like more of like a hard like a dried on caramel butter fragrance rather than that like ooey gooey like piping hot butter liquid that you get from bbw so slight difference there uh but i still enjoyed it i think i just really enjoy like popcorn type fragrances but the performance on it was just abysmal but it was still strong so at least we had that we then have Toasted Vanilla Pumpkin, which was another Marshall's Home Goods find. Uh, I believe this used to be Amaretto Pumpkin at one point, and that's what that looks like. Uh, this one's Vanilla Cream, Spiced Pumpkin, Cardamom, and Tonka Bean. Uh, this one performed great all the way down to the bottom. I think it's sooted, but it was fine otherwise, and so we have that there. Uh, yeah, excellent down to the bottom otherwise. Um, this was just a little bit weaker than I hoped for, but a very delicious, awesome fragrance. 
It's kind of hard to describe. It's like a nutty quality to it, which I guess is the amaretto mixed with like a creamy pumpkin that kind of reminds me of like a flan or something or like a pumpkin pudding mixed with like a nuttiness to it. I don't know. It's just very interesting. Um, it's like creamy but nutty. Um, and yeah, and the cardamom is definitely distinct in there as well. It's just a different take on pumpkin that I've really enjoyed. And this was like very like unique. Whereas like you could tell Farm Sand Pumpkin was just a like a dupe of like a cinnamon caramel swirl type fragrance. Or Spice White Pumpkin is pretty much just pumpkin pecan waffles. This was a fragrance that stood out as being unique on its own and not like a interpretation or dupe of something else. So I appreciated that. Uh, it was just had like a throw of like a four though. I wish it was a little bit stronger, but it was still a delicious fragrance nonetheless. Um, yeah, hard to describe. So that was that right there. And lastly, um, we have this, like, chevron, oops, and there goes that lid. Uh, we have the apple pumpkin pie and the chevron one. I think this was a two-pack from QVC, maybe. Uh, burned flawlessly down to the bottom. Super hot and sooty burn. Uh, definitely want to keep on top of trimming this, because this will sit on you like crazy. Uh, red apple, pear, clove, and ginger. Um, and that's what that looks like right there. Um, this doesn't smell at all like a pumpkin pie or apple pie. There's nothing bakery about this whatsoever. It is just like a super sweet, juicy apple uh, that's mixed with, I guess, clove and ginger and pear. Uh, but you don't even get pumpkin in this. There's a little bit of a spice in there that gives a slight cinnamony action to it. But pumpkin, uh, not really. Pie, not really. Just a super sweet, juicy apple but it doesn't have the it's almost like syrupy it doesn't have that like quintessential uh moldy macintosh apple or that orchard note that we often get from a lot of apple candles it's just like this super sweet syrupy apple is pretty much what this came off as um it's almost like it has a slight like shampoo-y quality to it in the sense that winter candy apple from bbw has it's a similar like winter candy apple type of like sweet uh, apple fragrance to it. Uh, there was also that that green apple something or another fragrance from that Scentworks candle that was also a body care. I don't, no one's even gonna know it, so whatever. But there was some green apple something orchard or green apples, some Scentworks apple fragrance. This is very sweet and syrupy. This is very similar to that as well. Uh, just very uh, disappointing or misleading in the sense that it doesn't smell like a pumpkin pie or apple pumpkin pie. It's just sweet ass apple. But uh, su super strong. Oh my god, so strong. Like, like gives you a headache. So we can't complain about that. So we were good to go there. Uh, I have another one of this that I'll try to power through eventually sometime in my lifetime. Uh, but yeah, that was that right there. And ooh, I believe that is it. Thank you so much for watching this entire uh, empties video. If you got this far, uh, let me know if you've burned any of these candles yourself or if you enjoyed them. Uh, let me know in the comments down below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.